morning guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Carly I'm a mama to a one-year-old baby girl and today we are doing a day in the life so for those who are new here and if you aren't new here I'm sorry I say this in every single video but I just need to explain we are currently living in a travel trailer we are down in South Carolina my husband is a professional motocross racer and we are down here training for the winter time so we are currently living in here so today I'm going to be doing a day in the life in here with my daughter, um, my husband is extremely busy today. He's already at the gym working out. It's like eight o'clock. Um, he's riding today. He's he's doing his day. So today I'm going to show you guys what my day looks like. Basically, kind of helping him, but taking care of Evelyn in here. So that's what we are doing today, as far as video wise. So we woke up around 7:30 this morning, but we laid in bed as a family um, until like eight o'clock. We just played with Evelyn. We kind of do that every single morning, depending on. If we have to get up right away or whatnot um so we laid in bed actually until probably like 7 45 and then we got up joel came out he cleaned up a little bit which i was going to put some cleaning in today's video i'm sure it'll get trashed again where i can do a cleaning portion to this video but he actually cleaned up for me um which was really nice and then he bolted out of here got to the gym by like eight o'clock um evelyn's over there playing she just got done eating breakfast, so we came out, Joel cleaned up, I made Evelyn pancakes, strawberries, and blueberries, which she ate all of the fruit. She rarely touches the pancakes, so I'm out of, I need to switch up her breakfast because she's been having this meal for a while now, so I need some meal ideas. Let me know down below if you have any toddler breakfast meal ideas. After I was done giving her her breakfast, I came over and made myself some tea, and as my tea was brewing in my Keurig, I started cleaning up the kitchen. I really just had to throw some stuff out and wipe down the countertops. Last night we didn't cook in here. We went out to eat at Olive Garden so my kitchen wasn't completely destroyed or anything like that from dinner. So I am using the Mrs. Myers cleaner to go ahead and wipe down my countertops. That reminds me I need to jump on my computer and cancel my next Grove order because we are not home so that is something I need to do right now. I'm going to drink my tea, sit down at the computer and get some bills paid that need to be paid. That's what we are going to do next and then I'm probably going to jump in the shower because I look like a hot mess right now. Evelyn needs to shower as well so we will probably do that. I have some laundry to fold. Basically just a really boring day in the life of a mom living in a travel trailer. So that is what's happening today. I'm going to go ahead and pay some bills and then I will talk to you guys after. Okay, so it is like um, probably an hour and a half later since I last talked to you guys. I took a shower, I did my hair, did my makeup. I actually filmed a get ready with me because that video um, was requested by a lot of people. So I just filmed that. That'll go up on Thursday, I believe. So if you guys want to watch that, definitely hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload videos. Um, it is cold outside. It is drizzling. Joel is going to ride. I'm not sure if we're going to make it out to watch him because I don't really want to get sick or anything like that. So I'm not sure what the plan is. We might just be stuck inside all day. Um, hopefully the sun comes out so we can go outside and play a little bit for Evelyn because um, she gets crazy when she's cooped up in here all day. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and fold some laundry and I'm not going to clean the rig until she goes to sleep because it's literally pointless. As soon as I clean, she takes everything out again and then I just have to clean again. So I'm going to wait till she falls asleep to clean up this giant mess. I miss breakfast. It's like 11 something right now. So I'm going to go ahead and probably eat a snack before we eat lunch or maybe I'll eat lunch with Evelyn. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to get this laundry folded and put away and then we will go from there. Giving up your dreams to your silly demons We're diamonds in the dust, so oh, why can't you see it? Keep getting under your thick skin, trying out and not Building and I see your weaknesses Swimming around in your bloodstream to Target I think it was Saturday that we went and I had a gift card so I got Evelyn some new clothes because she um, is running out of clothes down here 
so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that clip I took a clip right when we got home of everything that we got so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now okay, quickly I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few things that I got from Target today I did not want to make this whole video because I literally only got like a few things and it was not worth like an entire video so I'm gonna go ahead and show you we had a gift card so we stopped and used it even though we spent way too much money but the first thing I got was this bento cube and when we go to watch Dole Ride we have to walk if you guys watch my videos so I like to pack Evelyn some snacks and I thought this was um, really cute to pack her um, her snacks in it when we go to watch so it just has a little like dip container and then also has a little cubby and then these lift up so you can like put something on top of here and inside and then this side opens up same thing I thought this was really cute and it was very inexpensive it was only $7.99 and I've heard a few people talk about these bento lunch boxes I think I'm not really sure but I got this pink cube there was a bunch there a bunch of different ones I think I'm probably gonna go back and get some other ones too just because throughout the entire summer we are going um, to races and tracks and traveling a lot in the car and I could like meal prep and pack our lunches and stuff in here so we don't have to stop in the truck so I'm definitely gonna go back and grab some more of these so moving on to the clothes I got Evelyn a pair of 18 month light skinny jeans I saw these and thought these were so cute these were on sale for they're originally 10 but I think they're on sale for seven I'm not sure and it has like the adjustable waist inside she has on a pair of 18 months actually right now in the darker color and they are a little too big for her but I knew that the 12 month would be too small for her so I went with the 18 month just so she can grow into them and then I always get her leggings from either Target or Old Navy or H&M they have good leggings too but these were five dollars again I got 18 months and the leggings fit her perfectly um I do roll like the tops up just once for her because they're a little big up top but like the leg length fits her perfectly so always need a good pair of black leggings and I got her this jacket from Cat and Jack it's just pink leopard has a zip up this was ten dollars but I think it was on sale for nine I don't know they had like a weird sale going on Target um I think everything was like 30% off or something but I did get her a 2T because I size up in her jackets. I don't want to... I'm not the type of person who gets the exact size. Um, I was just talking to my husband about this. I size up in basically everything because this jacket we can layer underneath for her to fit into it right now. But then it'll still fit her as she gets older just with the jacket. Nothing underneath besides like a t-shirt or something. But for right now that it's cold outside, put like a little sweatshirt under here and then put this on top so it fits her. But... I always size up my clothes because she just grows way too fast to get like the exact size so next thing I got for her was this really really cute Easter dress it's pink and white it comes with little bloomers this was $7.99 I got a size 18 month it might be a little long on her but it'd still be really really cute and I'm super excited for her to wear this and I think it's like the perfect Easter dress without being like too crazy to over the top but just like a little pair of white shoes or something are you talking i turned down doc mixed up and so she's probably like mom what are you doing okay last piece of clothing item i got was this little romper set it's got orange and peach and mint and green in it and i thought it was really really cute for summertime i absolutely love rompers that have the shorts with them this was $7.99 but this was on the clearance rack so I'm not really sure how much this was but I got this in 18 month as well this is by Carter's just has a little button on the side and then ruffle sleeves but I cannot wait for summertime I swear summertime and fall time are my favorite time to get clothes and like dress Evelyn because the outfits are so cute so the last two random items I got, I needed a strainer for the motorhome. This was $2.99, but last thing I got was a um, first aid kit because my husband has cut his finger twice while working on his quad. So he actually got this. He was an adult and looked at me. He said, I'm going to go find a first aid kit while we were in Target. So this is on him, but it came with a bunch of stuff, um, band-aids, Tylenol, Bengay, Neosporin, Benadryl. I don't know all kinds of stuff and this was like $13.99 I think comes with 140 items and this we really needed this anyway 
just good to have while you're in the mother home. We need to get one for home as well because we do not have one. So that is everything I got from Target. So if this has ever happened to you guys, comment down below. We went to Target and came back and realized that we needed to get Evelyn new shoes. Did not get them that day from Target. So we had to go back yesterday. So we went to Target two days in a row, but I got her um, these little pink Cat and Jack shoes. These are size sixes. She's normally a five, but the fives are like too snug on her and the sixes are like too big. So she's going to have to like double up on socks or something for the time being. <laughs> Evelyn, I forgot about it. See, your um, aunt and uncle bought you these shoes, huh? Evelyn wanted to show you guys. Her aunt and uncle bought her these little they're not really her aunt and uncle. Um, they're just friends of ours, but we call them aunt and uncle. They bought you these shoes, huh? You wanted to show them. You're so smart. You're so smart. They're just like these little blue moccasins, but these were $10. Um, they just have like Velcro on them. They're glitter sparkle. And then we got her a new pair of boots. These were on clearance for $13, originally $26. So that wasn't a bad deal at all. Um, they just have like a little, I'm not, I'm not even really sure what that is, some kind of animal on them. And then they have like fuzzy on the um, upper part of the boots. Here, you want your shoes? So yeah, that is my mini Target haul. We got a lot of good stuff. Everything was like on sale there. They had really good weird sales going on, but they were good. Um, they also had, when I went back yesterday, which was Sunday, they came out with like a bunch of spring stuff. So um, I'm going to link, I'm going to show some stuff on my stories that I saw that I'm definitely going to go back and get Evelyn. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at Carly Hedrick. I'm going to go ahead and post some stories of really cute spring items that I saw for little ones. And then I plan on going back to Target maybe in like a week or so and filming like a shot with me because they had a lot of new spring home decor out that I think you guys would enjoy as well. Okay, so um, Joel just went to ride. So next... Evelyn and I are just going to um, finish playing for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and make her lunch and normally for Evelyn to go down for a nap um, is I usually go for like a mile and a half walk every single day and it happens to be around her nap time so she falls asleep in the stroller but today it's raining so I'm not really sure if you guys have seen our um, travel tour video you know that we only have the back bedroom and it's not big enough to put Evelyn's pack and play back there so at night time we set up the pack and play like right in this area and she falls asleep really easily in there and then for nap time I usually walk her because I can't really set up the pack and play what's wrong really set up the pack and play in here just because like we're using it during the day um Joel comes in and out and it's also like I'm not gonna sit in the back bedroom for two hours and have no access to anything um, so I usually just walk her and then I take her out of the stroller and put her in the back bedroom in the bed because Evelyn um, Right now is like going through some kind of sleep regression So I can't just lay her down in the back bed and her go to sleep. She knows how to get down She knows how to open up the door. So I usually have just been putting her in her stroller But it's raining out today. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but we'll figure it out so we're gonna go play and then we're gonna eat some lunch and then hopefully figure out something for nap, right? Well, I wanted to show you guys what blend I'm about to diffuse in my Young Living diffuser. So I'm doing three drops of lavender, three drops of lemon, and three drops of peppermint. So let's go ahead and blend this up. So to fill it up, I just um, put my thumb under this hole and this comes off of the top of the diffuser and I fill this up to the top. usually brings it right up to the fill line so let's go ahead and drop in three lavender three lemon and then three peppermint so then you just go ahead and put this back on line up the line with this little guy down here. So I've been trying to get my Young Living diffuser to turn on. I thought maybe that one 
I've had it for a while, maybe it stopped working, so then I took out my new one that I just got. That one wasn't working, and then I realized that none of the outlets in the motorhome are working. So, I have to wait for the hubby to get back um, from riding. For some reason, my microwave is still working, and my fireplace is still working. Not really sure what's going on, but all my outlets are not working. So, I'm gonna wait for the husband to get back, but in the meantime, it is lunchtime, so me and Evelyn are gonna go ahead and make some lunch, eat lunch, and then hopefully I can figure out how to get her down for now. Job finding your seat. So we are done eating lunch now. Um, so from here, I basically just gather all the lunch dishes. I'll put them in the sink and then I will get her ready to um, have a bottle and go in the stroller to go down for a nap. It's not raining out right now, so I should be able to get out there and quick do a walk um, and hopefully she goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. like 12 30 now i just got back inside from putting evelyn down for a nap she literally fell asleep um, within like five minutes of being in the stroller so i did my walk um i usually do a mile to a mile and a half i'm not sure what it was today i don't really track it i just know how far a mile is and then sometimes i walk extra but now that she's sleeping i'm gonna go ahead and clean up this very messy um motor home so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm not sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Joel and his friends are riding, so I might go down there and watch once she wakes up. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and tackle this really messy motorhome. So I'm going to clean the kitchen because I'm not going to do like a voiceover or anything for this. Um, I have like stuff to pick up, pretty much just like tidy and clean everything up. I have my um, oils going, so that puts me in the mood to clean. Um, I have like stuff to throw away, things like that. So. Let's go ahead and get this motorhome cleaned up. Well, you guys, this never happens. She never um, wakes up ever. She's a really heavy sleeper and she normally never wakes up to any noise or anything, but she's awake. Um, mom life. So all I cleaned was basically the floor and the kitchen table. Um, there's, I still have a ton of stuff 
to clean, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in the stroller and go watch Joel ride. Um, maybe she'll sleep a little bit. Hey, Evelyn. Or I don't, she only slept for like 30 minutes. Hi, are you not tired? I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up the rig real quick, the kitchen and stuff, and then I will go from there. Now that I just finished doing the dishes and cleaning up the kitchen a bit, um, I'm gonna go ahead and walk down to go watch uh, Joel ride. I'm not sure if Evelyn will fall asleep back in the stroller. It smells like she may have pooped, so that might be a reason why she woke up. Um, she's in really good spirits though, so she's not like cranky or anything. So if she falls asleep, she falls asleep. If she doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I've just put her down a little bit earlier tonight. But we're gonna go ahead and go down and watch Joel. The sun just came out, so it looks like it's actually pretty nice outside. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So it is now um, four o'clock and Evelyn and I just got to Dollar General. I was, um, craving some Doritos so and it's only like three miles away from where we're staying so we're running into Dollar General to get some snacks because I'm really sick of eating healthy we've been doing it for like a month now and I need my Doritos so we're gonna go in and get some snacks and that is going to be it for this video I'm gonna end it here because once we go back um we will probably just chill for a little bit and then eat dinner and then um get ready for bed so I didn't want to um, include that in this vlog because I do plan on making like a nighttime routine living in a motorhome. Um, I have my morning one. I will link it down below if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.